Meantime, the other big story tonight, this weekend when Michigan and Ohio State come to face to face on the gridiron, former athletes of both universities will be joining in solidarity, teaming up against the abuses of two doctors and anyone who may have been involved in covering up their crimes. Earlier this year, an independent investigation into the allegations was released. In it, information from former players supporting claims that Bo Schembechler knew what was going on, telling one athlete to toughen up. Now, the former coach's statue has been defaced on campus. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig in Ann Arbor with the very latest on all this. Not much can compare to the historical rivalry between Michigan and Ohio State, but these two survivors of abuse say supporting each other rises above it all. More than anything else, we want to bring awareness to two schools that have been mired in sexual abuse and cover up and corruption for over the last 50 years. Outside the house of the president of the University of Michigan, former football player John Vaughn joined by Rocky Ratliff, a former Ohio State wrestler. Both men having gone on record with hundreds of other former athletes to say they were sexually assaulted by a team doctor. At Michigan, Dr. Robert Anderson. At Ohio State, it was Dr. Richard Strauss. The university needs to get real about its culture of abuse and cover up at the hands of students and also within their faculty. We're talking about big corporations, big business, and that's why victims of sexual abuse are being dismissed. Overnight, someone vandalized the statue of Bo Schembechler, writing Bo knew and held to the victims. A university spokesman said they understand the passionate advocacy on behalf of those who were abused by the late Robert Anderson, but that the vandalism will be investigated fully to hold those responsible accountable. Because it's hit me pretty hard that you will be more angry, obstinate, and focused on attacking and finding and searching out the people that defaced a bronze statue, but yet you have individuals that still work at the University of Michigan that were the gatekeeper to the greatest rapists in sports. Ratliff is an attorney who has filed lawsuits on behalf of survivors of Dr. Strauss, and he says this weekend they'll join John Vaughn outside President Mark Schlissel's home, Buckeyes with Wolverines, in something they say means more than any school rivalry, gaining strength from the survivors of Dr. Larry Nasser. That the girls at Michigan State are five foot two superheroes to us. Now I'm getting emotional about it. We wouldn't be here without those girls or Mr. Vaughn. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.